which I told you the safest place to keep the needle on. I'll take a mattress which is vertical and eat the other one because you both get there. And now I have left it on the needle holder. I'll use another instrument. You can see this is the short end and that's my V. So what do I do? One, two, surgeon's knot. I pull it in the same axis and then try to square the throw by putting it in the other axis. So it goes nowhere. You can see it is staying. That's my V. I put and I've crossed. The knot is done. As simple as that. And I'll cut it short. As I told you, it is the rule of 111. Make sure that the needle is not lost somewhere. Keep the needle in your possession all the time. Continuous suturing is even simpler. Graph the needle at one third, two third junction. One third is towards the swage, two third is towards the needle, the tip. I take a bite which is one centimeter away and I'll put that's my V one, two, I go to the one side, whichever side I fancy, I'll pull it in the axis, take it there and square it. This I teach my postgraduates. You can, the more you square it, it doesn't slip. This is the first throw and I can leave a needle on the artery on it. Now I can use continuous sutures which are exactly put at the same distance, one centimeter. Somebody will follow the thread and we keep going continuously. <coughs> we keep going. Wider the better because it's stronger. Each suture, remember, is a triangle and a triangle should be having a wide base to have minimal tension at the apex. So the sutures won't give way if you keep a wide base. And if I reach the other end, I'll show you why simple knot is not good and why do we need Aberdeen knot, I'll just show you. This is my end of the story here. Withdraw, please. Yeah, that's right. Now I can take this as a V and put a throw across and put another throw and cross. After that, as I cut it, everything is good except that there is an issue. The issue is I started with, I can zoom here, with a single thread. And I've got three here. So how did they become three? One of these threads is merely a continuation. Can you keep this in the center, this part? Yes, thank you. And I can possibly find out by pulling it and pulling it. And this isn't even a throw. Because it is just about actually nothing. So if you put a simple knot after a continuous suture, this is going to give way and that is the most important cause of burst abdominals. For this purpose came into use what is called an Aberdeen knot. Aberdeen is a place in Scotland which is basically known for fish, is known for fisheries. So fishermen used to put this knot, it's also called as fisherman knot. Please watch the knot. I'll try to create a situation here, then I'll teach you what it is. I've put a suture which is going to be continuous. It 
It is also called as cobbler's knot in our part of the world. You must have seen cobbler do lots of tricks with the fingers and you keep wondering what is he doing. And you'll soon realize what is the cobbler's throw or cobbler's knot. It is very similar to Aberdeen knot and it's not a surprise to know as to which came first. Because the cobblers were long before everybody, but never were published, therefore nobody knows. Now this is suppose a continuous suture I've put and I'll end up with a loop. I've created a situation. Loop was there and a single thread was there. Now what do I do in Aberdeen knot, which is also called as a seesaw knot. Seesaw, you know, this way, that way. This is the loop I have and that's a straight thread I have. What do I do? I draw this thread through this loop. Just watch it, don't write. And after that I do seesaw movement. As I do it, you find that the throw goes down to create another loop, which I'll again draw the thread through and as I pull it, it goes down. Then the third. And what cobblers do is, I'm going on and on and I put about six of them already. I'll show it to you again in the abdomen also. Finally, I'll take the needle through this loop. Otherwise, it will be all a wasted throw. Now, I've ended, I've started with a single thread, I've ended with a single thread. And if you can zoom here, it's very tiny, although, but you can zoom and I think you can see, there is a series of Let's look at the photographic marvel if you can. Just zoom it here please. It's showing beautifully. Can you see there are lots of square throws here which have been put together. So it's a safe knotting. It's called Aberdeen knot. Is it visible? Can you see the throws? Yes or no? Louder? And when you use a thicker thread, you will see even better. But when you are closing, this is where you can see a lot of them are lined up as square throws. Now let me see from far. Yes, you can see that. And finally, you can use this thing. See the advantage is you started with a single thread, you ended with one. And they are all square throws, about eight of them. And then you can bury this under the edge. And actually you will have a pure secure knot, which is what is Aberdeen knot. You see that? It disappears in the fold and it lies flat. You can cut it flush, cut it flush, and that's what you get. Understood everybody? Yes, Let's put interrupted, then, then continuous sutures and metal sutures. And at the end put an Aberdeen knot, we'll show that in abdomen again. And do that. Start. Make sure faculty.